We have two guests joining us now to discuss the implications of Germany's move. Professor Doa Arap with American University School of International Service and Brian Arduni. He is executive director of the Armenian Assembly of America. Let me get your reactions. Uh, why don't we start with you, Brian? What, what, what are your thoughts on this vote? Well, we find this uh, a very welcome development. We think affirmation of the Armenian genocide, whether in Germany or other European countries like France, Italy, or Switzerland, helped to shed light on this crime against humanity. Doa? Well, I mean, uh, I think the time, the timing of this parliamentary vote is a bit of a question mark in my hand. So I'd like to explore further why it was timed at this particular period. So that was going to be my next question. Why now? Well, I mean, when you look at the EU migrant deal with Turkey uh, recently, especially with the dismissal of Prime Minister Davutoglu, the relationships between European Union and Turkey has been strained a while. So uh, I'm having a hard time really grasping what is the motive behind the uh, German parliaments uh, basically going forward with this decision. Is it political? Well, look, you, you have this issue that was being considered back during the centennial of the Armenian Genocide. And so it's fast forward and here we are today. The deal on the table wasn't there then and now, you know, I don't think you can mix and match it. Let me, let me go back to you because uh, this is uh, really kind of astonishing uh, in a show of unity, which you just don't see much of. Three of Turkey's political parties came out together mm -hmm. to condemn this action. Um, and this comes, uh, and I think both of you kind of alluded to this, as the EU is trying to deal with Turkey on the migrant crisis. How do you think this impacts relations between Germany and Turkey? And then uh, extend it out further. What does it do with the uh, migrant crisis? Does it throw a monkey wrench in there at all? Well, okay, imagine like this. Turkey over the past five years spent around $7.5 billion uh, to host more than 2 million Syrian refugees. I mean, that's much more than any other European country had spent so far. So the only reliable partner Turkey had found so far within the EU has been Germany. But this recent decision, parliamentary decision in Germany, would definitely put a strain on the relationship. So Turkey already did recall its ambassador. And uh, we have to wait and see whether the relationship, how long it would take for the relationship kind of to recuperate. Do you think it's in a tailspin or is this just a, a, a tit for tat type of well, thing? Well, I mean, if you look at it, when a country has a resolution acknowledging the Armenian genocide, Turkey's standard response has been, you know, to host up a threats, varying threats. And so I think Turkey really has an opportunity here. If you look at the, the resolution and you look at Germany's past and its dark chapter in history, uh, Germany came to terms with the Holocaust, addressed it, and look where Germany is today. It's, it's, it's a leader in its own right and it's a better country for it. I think Turkey has the opportunity to look back at its past, acknowledge the genocide, and reconcile with Armenia. Uh, you mentioned that this is an opportunity. Uh, 23 countries, 43 U.S. states have called the actions in 1915-1916 genocide. Why is that important? And, and is it basically trying to force Turkey to acknowledge it, to apologize for it? What, what would you like? Well, you, you have the affirmation of the Armenian genocide. It's important to remember the past and learn from the past so you can help prevent future genocides. So in and of itself, remembering and recalling the lessons of whether it's the Holocaust or the Armenian genocide is important so man's inhumanity to man can be prevented in the future. So you have that as an important goal in and of itself. Don, I want to get your thoughts on that. I mean, uh, it, it seems as though the effort is to push Turkey, and yet uh, Turkey seems to push back every time something like this happens. Well, international political history is full of humanitarian tragedies. My biggest worry in this particular decision is while recognizing a certain humanitarian tragedy through Bundestag's terms, it might put well a significant strain on a pragmatic solution to a continuing humanitarian tragedy which is basically related to what's been going on in Syria right now. So that's my biggest worry, how it would actually impact the ongoing uh, kind of quasi-working uh, deal on how to deal with the Syrian refugees right now. Let me talk to you, and I want to get both of your thoughts on this in terms of optics. Uh, the United States recently, uh, U.S. President Barack Obama, for, for decades, the United States, none of the presidents had made the journey to Hiroshima. He did it. Um, he didn't apologize, uh, but talked about it. Uh, is that enough when people look back on, on events in history? And I'll start with you. 
Well, for the past couple of years, uh, especially the office of the President Erdogan, uh, they've been basically uh, broadcasting the same message. That says, okay, basically in 1915, uh, everybody suffered what then was the war years. And Turkish government now recognizes the pain and suffering of all people and full stop. And is that enough? Look, there, there's a, a body of knowledge that a genocide happened. Raphael Lemkin, who coined the term genocide, specifically referenced what happened to the Armenian people and what happened to the Jewish people. So acknowledging the fact and reconciling with it is, is important, and it's something we'd like to see. How much momentum does this give your effort? Well, certainly it's, it's a good step in the right direction. And like I said, I think this is an opportunity for Turkey, rather than looking at threats and denying the genocide, look at opportunities to reconcile with Armenia. So we, we find this a positive development uh, overall. Don, I want to ask you about uh, the Turkish community in Germany, because there's about 3.5 million people living there. Your thoughts on how this might impact them or how they might react to this? Well, let's see it this way. I would like to see the Turkish community in Germany as an integral part of Germany, as uh, Chancellor Merkel had underlined several times. But uh, obviously this recent decision might as well uh, raise some question marks in the minds of uh, Turkish Germans about to what extent they do belong to the uh, German political system. Got about 30 seconds. I want to get your thoughts briefly, if you can. Uh, is this going to just go away? Will it, is this kind of a, a flash in the pan, you think, or are relations with Germany and Turkey kind of on the outs now? Well, you've seen it in the past where Turkey has issued threats, and then for a few weeks or a few months in different countries, it depends, relations go back to normal. So that would be my expectation uh, in this instance. Do the same thought? Well, Germany has always been Turkey's reliable partner, but I would definitely expect certain rifts in the relationship in the coming few months. But we have to wait and see what we're going to speak in a year. All right. Thank you both for coming in. Thank Appreciate you. your thoughts. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.